Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. In this video, we're going to talk about the hijab and why it is so controversial in the Western society. I will also be sharing some tips to help Muslim women wear the hijab confidently if they happen to live in the Western society. Without further ado, let's get started. Salam, I'm Veronica Adali. I'm a river to Islam, a founder of a modest activewear brand, a content creator, a wife, and a mom. I share my life and business journey as a Muslim woman living in New Zealand. My mission is simple help Muslim women to embrace modesty and hijab while following their true passion. I create content to boost self-confidence, mindset, and lift your spirit so you can successfully balance faith, career, and motherhood. Subscribe for inspiration, motivation, and lots of laughter, all from a Muslim woman's perspective. The hijab is commonly known as a head covering, but it's pretty much an outer garment that covers your hair, your neck, your chest, and your body. <laughs> so whatever you choose to wear on your body, it also counts as a part of your hijab. Most of them wear it to show their commitment to their faith. It's an act of worship and it's a part of their identity and they wear their hijab to express their identity. The hijab is a symbol of Islam and it is rooted in the teachings of the Quran. While hijab is a personal choice for the vast majority of Muslim women, it can be a source of controversy in the Western society. But why is the hijab so controversial? Here are a few reasons. Reason number one, misconceptions and misunderstanding. Many people who live in the Western society have misconceptions about the hijab and what it represents. Some see it as a sign of oppression or a threat to Western values. And to be honest, we have Western media to thank for that. Others may simply be ignorant about the significance of hijab and the religion of Islam and its cultural background. They simply may not know or understand why Muslim women wear the hijab. Reason number two, prejudice and discrimination. Unfortunately, Muslim women who choose to wear their hijab in the West often face prejudice and discrimination in the Western society. They may be the targets of harassment and hate, and they even might be denied opportunities or even services just because they are seen as belonging to the Muslim faith. And reason number three, cultural and political tensions. In the recent years, hijab has been increasingly politicized. It has been used as a tool in the cultural and political tensions between the Western world and the Muslim world. And as a result, the hijab has become a highly charged and controversial issue and is often seen as a symbol of these Tensions. So how can Muslim women who happen to live in the Western society can wear their hijab confidently in the face of these issues? Here are some tips. Tip number one, educate yourself about the hijab and the reasons why we are prescribed to wear the hijab as Muslim women. One of the best ways to overcome the challenges that Muslim women face when it comes to their hijab in the Western world one of the best ways to overcome these challenges for women who do wear hijab in the Western society is to educate yourself and others around you about the importance of hijab in the Muslim faith. Dive deep, be honest, understand the meaning and share the message with people in your life. If we as Muslim hijabi women are all very proactive in educating ourselves and people in our lives, our family members, if they happen to be non-Muslim, um, our colleagues, our classmates, um, if we use our platform uh, online, if we have any following, if we're all very vocal about educating people and telling them what hijab is, why, what it isn't, um, why we wear it, that we choose to wear it. So if we are very open and very proactive about it, we can slowly but surely 
um, educate the public. And that will create less confusion and a lot less misinformation will be going around. And of course, that way we can understand each other better. Tip number two, learn about your rights as a Muslim woman who happens to live in the Western society. In many Western countries, including New Zealand, that's where I am, Muslim women have a legal right to practice their faith openly, which means they have the right to wear their hijab. This is protected by laws and guarantees the freedom of religion. And that does prohibit discrimination on the basis of religion. And for example, if we look at the United States, their First Amendment right of the Constitution protects their right to freedom of religion. This means that Muslim women have the right to wear their hijab freely without fear of discrimination and persecution. The same applies to a lot of European countries, not all European countries, but a lot of European countries where there are laws in place that allow people to practice their religion freely. So that's why it's so important for us as Muslim women who live in Western countries to know our rights so we can advocate for ourselves when we do happen to face discrimination or prejudice based on our hijab. And this will include reporting the unfortunate incidents to appropriate authorities and Muslim organizations that are there to protect Muslim women. Overall, knowing your rights as a Muslim woman who lives in the Western society will help you assert your position. It will give you confidence and it will help you feel more secure and confident in your decision to wear the hijab. And of course, when you're fully informed, then you can simply stand up for yourself and for what is right. Tip number three, find support and encouragement from other Muslim women who wear the hijab. For many Muslim women, finding other Muslim women who face the same challenges as they do um, can be very helpful. It can provide a sense of community and belonging. We can also share guidance, encouragement and support so we can simply help each other to navigate our hijab journey living in a non-Muslim country. Remember that you are not alone on the quest to wear the hijab confidently and just feel safe and secure and protected as a Muslim hijabi woman. And sometimes all you have to do is reach out. You can connect with women at your local mosque. Um, you can find a Facebook group, a local Facebook group of Muslim women in your country. You can also connect with Muslimas online. <laughs> I've met so many wonderful Muslim women who I look up to as my hijab inspiration, who I come to for advice all the time, whose content I consume so I can feel better <laughs> on my own hijab journey. Building that network of like-minded sisters helps a lot and it will help you. And my final tip would be, be confident in your decision to wear the hijab. Remember that this is your personal choice and you're not doing anything wrong by expressing your religious identity. Despite all of the challenges that Muslim women face every single day, everywhere in the world, it's important for you to know and be confident in your decision to wear the hijab. You know why you put it on. You know why you wear it. And you need to remind yourself of that. Don't let others dictate how you should dress and what you should believe. Instead, stand up for yourself and defend your beliefs with confidence and conviction. Wearing the hijab is a very powerful and meaningful way for Muslim women to express their beliefs and their religious identity. Despite all the challenges and controversy that Muslim women face in the Western society, many, including me, feel very confident and empowered in their decision to wear the hijab. So by educating yourself and others about the meaning and significance of the hijab, by 
knowing your rights as a Muslim woman living in a Western country by building an encouraging and supportive network of Muslim sisters around you and by being certain and confident in your decision to wear the hijab, you will be able to wear it with love and pride. Wear your hijab with confidence, knowing that you are part of a very long tradition of women who choose to cover their bodies to show devotion for their faith. So always be proud of your hijab and don't let anybody make you feel ashamed of it. It's a symbol of your faith. It's a symbol of your identity. It's something to be respected and celebrated. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions for me, make sure you leave them in the comments below. If you found value in this video, make sure you leave me a, thumb, a thumbs up. And if you know a sister who would benefit from this video, make sure you send it her way. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so right now. And that's it from me. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to come and hang out with me. Assalamu alaikum and I'll catch you later.